tip. I don't know what. Uh, when doing water changes, I've seen people ask, do I need to remove my fish during water changes? No. I do 70% water changes. The only time I remove my fish is like every two or three months because I use sponge filters that doesn't pick up a lot of particulates. I will basically do a 100% um, remove my fish, dump my stock tanks, rinse them. But I'll do even a 90% water change um, and not remove my fish and they'll be fine. If you're doing large water changes, your fish are going to be used to, the, to those. It won't shock them, won't bother them. A lot of them even like to play in the current. But the big thing I see is people don't cover their siphons and walk away or even while they're standing there and their fish will get sucked up and lose eyeballs or chunks of wind or killed because they don't cover their siphons. So cover your siphons, people. You know, when you're sucking on and sticking them down into the gravel, if you're one of those people that have gravel or sand, you're right there, you know, you're doing it. But if you're walking away, this is just one of those little nets you get from the grocery store uh, for onions and shallots, those little, those little nettings. That's all I do is I pop that over the bottom of this, and that will keep your fish from getting sucked up into your siphon and killed. Easy peasy.